All right, guys, here's our unit outside. So, new disconnect, new whip, new lines coming through there. I'm gonna cut that rack off, put a new one on, just mount it right underneath the siding there. Uh, this is a common area that gets mowed by the association. So you can't put anything on the ground. Make sure we seal all holds up. This one, you got some driveway parking and street parking. Also, the we're gonna be doing a high efficiency furnace. We're gonna bring be bringing some PVC venting out the side of the house, if possible. Like to keep it on the back side of the air conditioner, so it's less visible from the street. And then you get away from our dryer vent here. All right, guys. Here's our setup down here. So we're gonna need a cap to put it in the bottom of there. So you're gonna need a five inch cap. So we're gonna PVC vent the furnace. So two PVC pipes out. Uh, we're gonna take it through here, come out on the other side here, come this way to get to this side of the beam, and then run along this side of the beam and stay up above the beam height to go outside. That way we get away from our dryer vent, which is right there, and the exhaust for the kitchen, which is right there. So that way we get our distance from everything. So we're gonna end up somewhere right in that range there. Lines go this way, so short line set. We'll do a new one for this one. And do a new humidifier, new media, new drop, new base on the furnace. Floor drain is here. Electric and gas, just rework as needed. No walkouts, you're gonna have to go up and down the steps there. Your panels back over there. Main water shutoff is over there. Water heater's gonna stay as is at this time. Talked about it, but they're gonna hold off. Thermostat, we're gonna be doing the Honeywell IAQ, and we're gonna hook it up to the Redlands. 